In this lesson, we're going to look at the calculation of the area of a trapezium. Now, if we study the shape of a trapezium, we do have a quadrilateral, but the main thing to notice that the only thing you need to notice is that one pair of sides are parallel. As long as you've got just the one pair of sides being parallel, you have a trapezium. But you also need to know when working out the area, the distance between the parallel sides, and that is the perpendicular distance between them. So the formula that we use for it is the area is equal to half times the addition of the distance of this side and this side. So that's a plus b, and that's what this is in brackets, times the perpendicular height. And that's the distance between the two parallel sides. In a simple form, we get half AB added together times the height. I've also seen the formula written down like this, that the area is equal to half times the height, and then in brackets, times by A plus B. So all of these formulas are exactly the same. So let's do an example and see how this works. Step number one is always write down the formula. So I'm going to use this formula here. Area is equal to half times the perpendicular height, that is the distance between the parallel sides, times the length of the parallel sides added together. So let's substitute in our formula all the numbers that we know. So our height here, you'll notice here, is one millimeter. One millimeter distance between the two parallel sides. A, 1.5, plus B, 4. Now let's just double check that all the units are in the same form, millimeters, millimeters, and millimeters. Sometimes they get mixed up in a question. Now if you work this out, you'll find that the area is equal to 2.75 and remember our units are squared so it's millimeters squared. Mm -hmm.